Right, we're going to do a video on Freelander 2 headlight bulb. So we're going to cover the main beam bulb, the dip beam bulb, the indicator bulb and the side light bulb. I got that, haven't I, Tyler? Yeah. Nailed it. Right. So Freelander 2 headlights come like people in many different colours and shapes and sizes. I've laid a few of them out here. Um, one thing to note is if you look on the top here, if it's got HAL, that means it's a halogen. Now, the, war, the way we're showing here should be the same for, or the same-ish, for most of the halogen. If you've got the HID bulbs, it's a bit trickier. Um, I mistakenly thought that the halogen ones look like this, where you can sort of see the little umbrella and the bulb in. But these ones here with the glass eye are also halogen, if you've got this label at the top and it says halogen. But the xenon ones also have that, so your label is your best guide. So we are going to have a look in the back of this headlight. Now, I've already done a video, and if I remember, I'll put the link up there of how to remove the Freelander 2 headlight. And it's quite easy, actually. It just sort of, there's a little release, and it's on a little dock, and it just comes out. It's actually one of the easiest headlights to take out. Right, so in this video, Tyler is going to try and break my head. No, he's trying not to break my headlight and change the bulbs. Right, let's get going, shall we, Tyler? So we've got a super clean rag here that we found because it's meticulously yeah, clean many, many clean rags here. yes right we did that to stop scratching the lens because we don't want to scratch the lens so this is the clever little release mechanism that tyler's modeling beautifully there um and you have to it's great for releasing the headlight but it gets in the way because we need to take this little black cover off here right so we've got to unclip there's a little clip there. Let me just have a quick look there. So you see that little, so that plastic rod docks into there. So you need to, and then there's another one here and another one, if I get the camera right there. And so if you're lucky, it then, be worth and noting that yours, if it's older, will be a lot more fragile than ours. Yeah, and we have put these on the website now. I think Ben's nearly put these on the website. They're only a few pounds, those, but they do get brittle with age. The humans do that too. Women do, don't they? What's that called? Bone bone density issues. Anyway, let's not talk about, let's not talk about ladies, ladies here. This is a purely man channel. Right, so at the top here, you've got these little clips there that, that press down. You've got one there and one just along there. And then this black cover pops out. Now at the bot, so this cover works on, you've got these little legs, dogs, tabs, whatever you want at the bottom. And they dock into bits on here. So it goes in and sort of... And when you put it back in, there's a rubber seal on it. And you'll have to give it quite a thumb to get those catches to clip. Right. Oh, look at all that joy in there. So we have got... So this one here is that one there, which is the dip beam. And then that one there, down in there is the main beam so i'm trying to think how best to film it i think do you reckon you could cope with doing it like that yeah. right yeah right so we've right let's let's do the easy one first so the dip beam now what type of bulb is that it's got it written on the back there it's a h something or what's it can you read that tyler with your laser eyes h11 h11 let's see if the laser camera can read hold on i'm supposed to touch the screen germany germany oh. call it so this is a h11 bulb so there's two things. So the connector goes on the bottom here, which is where the J. But let's take it out of the fitting first. I mean, you can take the connector, but that's a turn that. Pull that out, and then if we need to replace it, you've got to you, you. There's no tabs to squeeze. You've got to like lever cool. those bits out. Can I go then that entirely? Those little <laughs> grey bits. You've got to sort of peel it back, haven't you? They're not too tough. Don't break your nails, Todd. Look at that. Now this here, ah, oh, that looks a bit dodged, doesn't it? A bit sus, that. Mm. Looks like we've got some heating going on there. We might have to look at that. We may even need to solder a new connector on there, Tyler. That looks like we've had some overheaterage. Right, um, so that's how to do that. There's the bulb there, so let's just have a look. So if you need to buy a new bulb, any halogen H11, that's what it looks like. There you go. Now you shouldn't really touch the glass bit here when you handle bulbs on the main headlight bulb because they get quite hot and the oils on your hand can give it thermal stress. And we don't need stress, do we, Tom? 
<laughs> right. Nice. So what have we got hiding in here? Now, actually, you hold that for a minute, Tyler. I will grab the illuminationary thing. Ooh. Right. So you can see in there, hopefully now, you've got that black. Now, at the bottom of that black thing we're looking at, there's a little tab that Tyler's going to... Yeah, and he's got to pull it up and, and pull it. So there, and it should just pull straight back then. You might have to show us after you've got it out, Tyler, what you were, what you were squeezing there. There's that. Yeah. And the bowl pulls out. There, it really, right, so let's have a look. So what bulb is it? It's a H something or other. That's a different sort of bulb, and I'm going to say it's a H7. If you look around the base, Tyler, on the, on the stainless steel bit, it should be written there. H7. H7. Is that a Germany quality thing as well? Yep. There we go. So that's the H7 bulb. And notice on the H7 bulb, Tyler, can you show us where you're holding that there is a tab on that outer circumference? Yeah, hold. There you go. So there, so you can see here, it's got this little. So when you put it back in, you've got to make sure this lines up. And that goes in the top, if I'm not mistaken. You want to just put that back in, Tyler? Just to show how when you put it back in, otherwise we're going to leave people in the lurch. We'll show them how to take their bulbs out and then not put them back in. <laughs> it's a cliffhanger. This might be an upright. This might be an upright job. Go on then. Yeah, we've seen enough. Let's have gravity on our side. Yeah. So there we go. You can see now, and you've got the tab at the top, and it seats. Now I spent ages. First of all, trying to mount the bulb in here and putting it in. Now, for some weird reason, don't try that. You'll be there forever. Put the bulb in, locate the bulb, then grab this connector and put it on, and it will. Now, can you just hold the torch a minute, Tyler? Yeah. Right. Because and what when he took it out and he had his big oofy hands in the way, it was this he was squeezing. So he was had one finger on the top and then pushing that bottom bit. You can see that bottom bit. And that released it, and then he pulled it all out. Those little springy bits there are little earth connectors. Right. So I'll see if you can... You've got to, you've got to line it up. It's, it's not a nice video to watch, really, is it? Because you've got to just... Oh, I feel really... You've got to get those two spades on the back of the light into the two slots, and then it just clips in as easy as that. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, so that's the main beam. That's the dip beam. Put the dip beam back in, Tyler, just to show how easy that is. Again, you're gonna, you can connect it in first. All right, clips in. Put it in slightly wonky, and then it, it rotates clockwise when you've got it. That's it. And that little rubber bit at the bottom sort of compresses. Cool. Right, let's, let's have that little rubbery inspection chamber off, and let's have a look what we've got in there. Let's swap sides. Whoop, look at that. Seamless. Right, and in here, now you can see this one, and that is the indicator bulb there, and that looks easy enough. But then there's this funny little sort of spadey spatulary thing that I'm trying to focus on there. And that is a secret little stick that on the end of it has got the side light bulb. Right, let's do the indicator bulb first. Right, a bit twist anti clockwise. Fight it, fight it. It's sort of out. Oh, there's a wire. Careful, yeah. There's a little mass of. And there you go, there's. And that's on a bayonet, so you just push and twist the bulb. Indicator bulbs, they don't get hot enough to worry about. They have an easy life. Would you rather come back as a headlight bulb in the next life, Tyler, or an indicator bulb? Or would you rather be the main character? The You'd rather be, yeah, that's it, see. Take the pressure, all the heat, but yeah, right. So that's the indicator. Oh, show them the rotated pin. Ah. So if you need a new indicator bulb, make sure you get one. When you look at it, the bulbs, one that they got two little sort of dimples on the edge of the can. There you go. You can see one there, but they're not opposite each other. One of them's at the 12 o'clock and one of them's at the 7 o'clock. There you go. I have to do my telling my time, man. Um, be careful of that because some bulbs have the little pins on the can, on the side of the can opposite, and some have them rotated sort of offset. You need the rotated offset type. Right, good. That's it. I'm gonna put that. Do you want to put that back or leave it out? What do you reckon? Let's leave it to one side for the minute. Side. Right, and then we're going to try and get that sticky bit there out. Spoon, spatula. Well, so you give it an anti-clockwise twist. 
it should sort of unclip. There we go. And then and you see you've got that long stick. Let's see the full length of that, Tyler. Get in somewhere. There you go. So you've got this sort of long stick that comes along. At the end of it, you've got a little wedge ball. And then if you can pull that out. There we go. And that's a little side light bulb there. So you could, we might upgrade these to LED. You can get some little LED bulbs for those. We'll put those on the website. So there you go. You can put those in. And then plug that back in there. And put your indicator bulb back in. Mind those wires. That's it. It goes like that. And that is it. Put that on. Put the other coat. Go on. Finish it off, Tyler. Another job well done. That's it. You haven't broken much today. Not in this video. Not in this video. Right. That's it. One click, two clicks. Put that little lever back over. They're a bit goose, those little clips. But well, I've done it again. He's done it again. There you go. Like those little clips on the back of those covers are a little bit... They sort of bend over if you're not careful. Right, so we'll clip that back in. But that's the done for today, isn't it? So that's how to change your bulbs in your headlight if you need to on your Freelander 2.